Hey guys and welcome to a new video. I'm not sure how many of you guys remember this, but a little while ago I uploaded a video called How much do all of the cosmetics cost in TF2 or something like that and in that video I calculated how much all of the cosmetics cost in TF2. Now as you can see that video was very very cleverly named. But today I'm going to be doing that type of thing again but for all of the weapons in TF2. So this video is going to be covering all of the genuine weapons, all of the vintage weapons, the unique weapons, the haunted weapon, because there's literally only one haunted weapon, and the strange and collector's weapons as well. So this video, compared to the cosmetic sets video, was ridiculously easy, actually. I was thinking this was going to be so, so much worse, but actually, I quite enjoyed it. I think there's something like over 1,600 cosmetics I had to sort through each time and sorting out that many cells, make sure they're all formatted properly. It, it was a very, very long task. I spent at least 24 hours on that video. Now, there are only around 460 weapons or something like that, maybe even less. So I basically had to do a quarter of the work, which is incredible. Look, the maths is already beginning. So this video also had to have some exceptions made to it because there is quite a lot of weird stuff going on with some of the weapons in this game. The first thing is the slot tokens. Apparently vintage ones exist and they are super expensive because they are glitched items. So they cost 192 keys each or at least on backpread.tf they do. So obviously that would make quite a big difference in the final vintage price. So I'm not going to be counting those, but if you did want to, then, you know, you just find out how many there are, add 192 times that amount, and there you go. Why would you do that, though? I could probably ask myself that about making this video, actually, to be fair. The next thing is, like, the glitched vintage weapons. So, the shortstop, the big kill, and the non-craft Lugamorph. So... The vintage shortstop is a glitched weapon that shouldn't really exist. And because it's a glitched weapon and it's like quite a collector's item, it costs 391 keys. Or at least that's what it's priced at on backpack. And the big kills as well are also glitched into the game. And they cost anywhere between 400 and 600 keys according to backpack.tf again. So it could be more, could be less. I don't know. That would make a massive change in the vintage prices and make it really, really unrealistic. And then obviously the vintage craft Lugas are worth like 200 keys or so. Again, I didn't count that because, you know, craftable vintage Lugamorphs cost five keys. Why would you buy a 200 key one? I thought I'd let you guys know those prices before I said it because, you know, I know for a fact if I didn't include them, somebody would say it and then there we go. But now you know the prices of them if you do want to count them on, but I'm not going to for the sake of, you know, keeping the prices sort of realistic. Anyway, let's start with the genuine weapons. If you wanted to buy all of the genuine weapons, it's actually way, way cheaper than I thought. Turns out there's not a whole lot of them, but it will cost you anywhere between 60.79 keys and 79.69 keys. Now, there's going to be a dollar amount on the screen right now as well, so you can see how much it would cost, but that is really not anything near what I thought genuine weapons were going to cost to get all of them. Next up, the vintage weapons, excluding all of the stuff I spoke about earlier, is going to cost you 42.47 keys to 49.25 keys. Again, that is way, way cheaper than I could have ever expected. Like, I know there's not a whole lot of vintage weapons, but the ones that you think are really expensive aren't that expensive in, like, the grand scheme of things, I guess. Like the Fan of War, I'd never pay for a vintage Fan of War, I don't think. Well, I have to because of my collection, but yeah, that's 14 keys, which isn't as much as I thought. Next up is Unique, which will cost you 89.75 to 95.68, which is the most expensive so far. And there's just so, so many of them. And obviously you have stuff like the Shooting Star, which is a key or so. And you've also got like all of the festive weapons and stuff like that. So there's just loads of them. So the prices add up. Moving on to the strangers, they're going to cost you 2,441.86 keys to 2,654.97 keys. Now, that's because the golden pan is counted in that. But if you didn't want to count that, it's going to cost you 821 to 874 keys. So, yeah, like that's quite a big difference from one item. And obviously the strangers are so expensive because the Australians are in there. You've also got all of the strange festives included in that value as well. So it makes sense that they are so far the most expensive type of weapon. And I'm really not sure you guys are ready to hear about how much the haunted weapon is going to cost you. So I'm just going to get into it now. The haunted weapon is going to cost you a grand, grand total of 12.44 ref. 
yeah, the only thing that's haunted is the bat out of hell, and it costs 12.44F, but I had to count it, it's part of the video, like, it's a waste of time. <laughs> And finally, moving on to the collectors, the cheapest that Backpack.tf says you can get all of the collector's weapons would be 2,934 keys, and the most expensive is priced at 3,225 keys, which is mental. The objector, actually, in collector's quality, is like 450 keys alone, which is nuts, but they are super, super rare, so it makes sense. Okay, so here's some quick maths for you. If you were going to buy all of the weapons in every quality with the golden pan and the collector's weapons included, it would cost you 5,569 to 6,105 keys. If you were going to buy everything, including the golden pan, except the collectors, that would cost you 2,635 to 2,879 keys. And without the golden pan and without the collectors, it would be 1,015 keys and 1,099 keys. Now, that top figure of 6,105, that is actually equal to 12.6k if you're doing it in dollars. In pounds, it would be a little bit different. In euros, it's probably going to be a bit different. But for the most part, it's around 12k, which is insane. I don't know about you guys, but if I had that much money, I'm not sure I'd be getting every single weapon in TF2. I have to be honest with you. I would probably, you know, buy a new car or go on holiday after this whole virus thing's over. I don't know, let me know what you'd spend it on. Would you buy all of the weapons or would you just buy other stuff in TF2 or would you go on holiday or something? Let me know. It's kind of insane that a bunch of pixels on a screen can actually cost more than the car I have sitting outside my window right now. It's nuts. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you click the like button down below. And while you're doing that, you can also subscribe to the channel if you are new to make sure you never miss out on more content like this. I upload a TF2 video every single day. So if you need content to watch while in quarantine, then make sure you subscribe. And also after quarantine as well. Hopefully you keep watching. <laughs> But yeah, subscribing helps me out quite a lot and you get more videos to watch. So thank you all so much for watching once again and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.